Hi guys, my name is Ishan Kumar and welcome to the basic tutorial video for managing projects and tasks with Trello. So, Trello is a very powerful tool and it is very very flexible. So, uh, basically if you are working in an agile environment uh, where, where you know things go very fast and fast paced. So, this tool will help you a lot in maintaining your all the project activities and tasks. Right. So, you can access this tool with this URL and when you will uh, it, it will ask you to register and registration is completely free so uh, when you will log in so this will be the screen which you will be uh, which you will land on uh, so there are a lot of features will Trello supports and it is pretty much impossible to cover all the features in one single video so I will just cover up with basic topics and basic features right and later on you can explore with yourself so uh, let's let's start so uh, Trello, support, uh, Trello is based on three basic constructs, uh, boards, list and cards. So in this video, we will focus on these features, boards, list and cards, and we will see that how it works. So uh, uh, let me go back to the landing screen. And here you can see that I have created different, different boards and you can create your own board uh, from this option, create new board. So uh, let's create a new board. Uh, let's, let's name is release, sorry release 4.0 and uh, i want to create this particular board in this particular organization right so you have the flexibility to uh, create a board under a separate type of organization so this will help you in segregating all your data right so create a new board and this will be the landing page so board will hold list and list will hold different types of card in which you will be storing your different project activities so uh, Let's first create some list, right? So let's say my, li my list is planning and then, sorry, development, then testing, then implementation, right? So, so you can see uh, these are the list and in this list you can perform different activities so as soon as i have created a new list you can see that all the activities are stored in the right way so this is actually the menu bar and you can assign different members to this particular board so for for this video uh, let me assign some member uh, like uh, I, can, I can i can assign my team members to uh, this and uh, these members are assigned to this particular board and accessibility of this board can be handled uh, from from the top left portion right where you can uh, where you can assign that this particular board should be private organization or public right so uh, let's get back to the uh, to the list and let's create some card so let's say that i am working i'm planning to have feature a in release 4.0 then feature b in similar way feature sorry feature c so these are the three cards and let's see what all the activities we can perform in this card so uh, you can see a right pane is containing with different uh, different actions right so you can add any member if you want to assign some members to this card so let's say i want to assign one of my teammate which i wanted to look in this particular card right so i can also use particular labels for this i can i can maintain checklist i can have a due date for this card i can attach different files to this particular card right so let's see how it works. So uh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's add a checklist to this. So let's say there are high charts and then drop down list, then data table, right? So three three there are three checklists which I wanted to complete to complete this feature this particular feature, right? so the member assigned to this particular card will be getting all the emails and all the notifications uh, via mail uh, right so all the activities can be 
can be tracked in real time so uh, uh, if if you go back to the list view you can you can see that uh, you can see that there is a glimpse of data right so this particular card is assigned to my teammate santosh pillai and this particular card is assigned to my teammate kriti so we can have a glimpse of what all the members are working on this particular feature and you can see that uh, there is a there is a description which is uh, which is added in this card right and this particular icon is telling you that there are some checklist which needs to be performed in this card so as soon as you will be completing uh, completing a different feature uh, this progress bar will be will be giving you the glimpse of how much how much completion is done right so if you if say you have completed all the features then it will change color and it is very easy to track it down right so you can see that all the three features has been completed and it will change color so it is pretty much fun and very very easy to understand that what what's going on in a particular card right? so uh, next i wanted to talk about labels uh, so labels are pretty much uh, simple to use right so there is an option labels and you can see that i have assigned a different labels with different colors right so you can do this by clicking on this and let's say let's say i want to assign this particular label with this uh, development color and you can see that this color is assigned to develop right and you can assign different label to different cards so uh, and, and any any card can handle any number of labels right so this particular feature will be uh, handling load testing ui ux development and then i wanted to do uh, integration testing on this card as well right so if i go back so you can see that uh, this card is handling three types of level at and in any at any point of time if you forget uh, right uh, because it is uh, basically pretty much uh, difficult to remember all that all the labels so you can go here and and see uh, what what type of level is referring to what type of color right so uh, like this you can assign label to all the cards and next uh, is the uh, due date right right so i want to complete this particular uh, feature by uh, by say 27 and the cool thing about this feature is that as soon as this feature will be uh, as as soon as this uh, this the, the, the date will be coming uh, nearer and nearer this will change color right so if if the due date will pass and the feature will not be completed it will become red so this will make you easier to understand that something is delaying and uh, it's need your attention right uh, you can also perform an attachment and uh, let me show you so i wanted to attach a simple file to this card right so as soon as you attach a file to this card it will display on the card right so this will give you a glimpse to understand it will help you to understand that what type of data this particular card is having next i wanted to talk about activities so it is also very powerful right uh, it helps you to add comment on this card so uh, let's say that i want my teammate santosh you can see that uh, there is a right drop down list which is open so i want to know my teammate that to test test uh, drop down so drop down with silly mom say right so as soon as i'll add a comment santosh will receive a notification to perform this activity right and you can see that all the activities are done in a progressive manner it is displaying in a progressive manner so uh, it is it, it will make you easier that what type of activities have performed when on this particular card right so uh, this is this is what you can do with the cards next i wanted to talk about subscription so there is an option subscribe so subscribe will help you to know that what activities are going on in this card right so let's say uh, i wanted to know about the activities going on in feature c so i'll subscribe it and when i will subscribe it you can see that there is an icon here 
and you will also get a glimpse of uh, of of which cards are you uh, currently viewing on right so subscription can also be done at various levels like if you wanted to subscribe a particular card you can do so here from here if you wanted to subscribe a particular list you can you can uh, subscribe from here right you can see an option coming from here you can also subscribe boards right so if all the if you want to track all the activities which is going on in boards you can do the, do so so uh, these were the cards so let's say that all the planning have been done for the feature a right so one of the very cool thing which you can do right now for this card is that you can move this uh, this card from planning phase to the development phase right so all the member assigned to this card will receive notification that the feature has been moved to the development in the same way you can done with several types of other, other card right and when this particular feature has been developed right then you can again move it to the several other list so i would like to uh, uh, test this feature with uh, uh, with my teammate uh, right so i will assign my teammate to this card so you can perform drag and drop uh, drag and drop from the right pane so i would like to assign two member for this particular card right so you can see that how much flexible it is and uh, the all the activities can be performed in the real time right so if this board is accessing uh, if the if, if my if the members are accessing uh, the page so they will be seeing all the activities in the real time and uh, drag and drop is not just limited to cards you can also do these with the list right so if you want to say uh, move uh, if you wanted to move uh, one face uh, back so you can do this with the list right and let's say i wanted to create another list like feature sorry defer for this release right i have created another list and my feature c which i have planned before is deferred so this can be done very easy and there is no limit to the number of cards and list you wanted to add right you can add as many as cards and list as you want and i can show you that how my uh, on show team is coordinating with us for maintaining this project so uh, this is uh, this is my actual live project in which i am working on it is named as brightage and uh, brightage q is actually the organization which is handling the releases right so you can see that they, these are previous releases in which i have worked on and my current release is going on it with 2.68 uh, release right so these are several features and all the feature and and uh, like i have shown you in the uh, video before in this video before uh, these are the labels which we have assigned to different teams right so team edge is different team bright is different operations is a different team and then quality so we have given all the colors to different different cards right and if we perform the load test on this particular features we have assigned the required number and all the checklists which needs to be performed and we have also assigned uh, the links for uh, uh, links for the specs right which is which is for this particular feature so paper can come here assigned members can come here and can navigate to this uh, specs right so you can see that how much easy it is to handle all this you can pretty much uh, uh, save any type of url to this card right and it is very easy to manage all the project activities on the go right so let us see before wrapping things up uh, what all we have covered in this video so we have covered trello boards created new board uh, review board structures we have li reviewed list and cards and in cards we have seen how the checklist has been created adding members assignments how to subscribe how to uh, how to assign a due date for a particular card activities comments labels and how to attach files on a card and then we have seen how to create a new list how to move card between list and how to move a list right so uh, this is a very basic video and you can it will help you to start with trello and you can explore things up as you move on so thanks for watching guys